All right, Jim is watching some severe weather tonight. Yeah, you know, the Storm Prediction Center doesn't issue what they call particularly dangerous situation tornado watches very often. They're really quite rare, but Milam County in our viewing area today is under one of those kind of watches. And now uh, the Williamson, Travis, Hayes County area, Bastrop County, the Austin metro area has been added to the tornado watch, not to necessarily that uh, particularly dangerous situation area, but any tornado development is obviously a dangerous situation. And so uh, everybody in the Austin metro area and all of our eastern counties needs to stay on top of the weather situation through the evening with us here or on KXAN.com as tornado development is possible this evening. Now, so far, the only storms we have seen have been developing up here in Milam County. Looks like another one's trying to develop there not too far from Cameron. At 4 o'clock, we had one-inch hail just northeast of the Cameron area. As that storm moved over into the Hearn area, it covered the ground in about quarter size hail as well. But again, that's it's the only severe weather we've seen so far in our area. The storms off to the northeast, though, have been uh, more powerful. We have several counties under tornado warning uh, right now to the northeast of our central Texas area. In some of the same areas that were hit yesterday, they're under tornado warning again today, uh, especially south and southeast of the Dallas area. Waxahachie has had some 70 mile per hour winds today. More severe storms developing between Dallas and the Lufkin area of southeast Texas. And boy, poor Arkansas. This has just been ridiculous. Uh, in the last two and a half weeks, the Little Rock area has been hit by at least three tornado outbreaks. Eight more people died yesterday and last night in tornadoes and flash floods. Uh, the Little Rock area hit by a tornado last night. It is under tornado warning again this afternoon. You'll remember two and a half weeks ago, uh, the Little Rock area was hit by a tornado uh, that killed seven people in and around or near uh, Little Rock anyway. So, And now southeast Arkansas also very much under the gun this afternoon. We just haven't seen anything like this tornado season. Well, really in history, our official tornado count now is up over 300. The un official unconfirmed tornado count for April alone is up over 500 tornadoes. That's never happened in uh, recorded history, and it just keeps on uh, coming at those folks. Uh, we're, boy, we're very unstable uh, in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Now, there's a, a layer of warm air several thousand feet above the ground that we call a cap. So when the rising air gets to that cap, well, it just stops rising. It hits the warmer air, and it doesn't go any higher. But if it can break through it, storms explode and become very, very violent very quickly, like we saw up in Milam County this afternoon. We're very unstable in Austin right now, but so far, we haven't been able to get any storms through the cap. The Storm Prediction Center thinks it's possible. That's why they included us in this tornado watch until 10 o'clock tonight. 92 right now. Lano hit 103 today. It was 100 degrees from Kingsland to Mason to San Saba today. Uh, generally 80s, upper 80s off to the east. 92 in the city and 92 out at ABIA right now with south winds at 10 to 18 miles per hour. There you see your contrast zone with the front. Look at Laredo at 111 degrees. There's your cold front. There's the dry line. Severe storms can form in advance of either of them. That's what we're watching tonight. The main storm system, a big trough lifting off to the northeast. Our next one that will come out of the west will bring us a chance of some thunderstorms on Sunday. This trough will drive a cold front through in the morning. We'll have north winds tomorrow and a very high fire danger tomorrow with gusty north winds, but any threat of storms will be over with. A little cooler toward morning in the low to mid 60s. Highs tomorrow, about 10 degrees cooler than today. We're headed the right direction. Storm is possible tonight. 66 the low in the morning. The clouds should begin breaking. The winds go northwest, they become gusty, that high fire danger and highs in the mid 80s. And then after tomorrow, we're dry and warm, but at least not extremely hot into the weekend, although we're back close to 90 degrees. And then we'll turn a little cooler on Sunday again behind that next front that could bring us some more storms. Thanks, Jim.